से साधु 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 सो डियर धाम प्रैक्टिशनर्स there was a priest had a temple very close to the ocean and the village people always come to pray for this place suddenly one day morning people ran to the temple and told oh priest the water keep coming towards the land let's run so the priest told in my whole life i was keep praying to the god i am the one who have the connection with the god why i have to follow your command i have to wait here till the god come and if the god appear and tell me something i will follow that otherwise i am not going to listen to you you are just my follower you are just my student so i am the master why i should follow you so then what happened like tsunami you know the water start to come to the land and little by little little by little it enter to the temple also so then the priest jump into the the upstair and waiting and then the rescue boat came and told priest jump to the boat jump to the boat because the water keep coming water keep coming then everyone you know already moved out out of this area so jump to the boat boat and the the priest told why i have to follow you i am the one who used to talk to god you no know? so i have the trust i have the faith to the god so i am not going to listen to you i will wait and god will do something and then water keep you know rising little by little little by little and he couldn't stay and in the upstairs then he jumped to the the roof then what happened the rescue helicopters came and put the rope and told please hold this and uh, we going to take you but he told no 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 don't worry the god will take care of me because i am the one who used to to pray for the god and i am the one who capable to have the communication with the god and uh, the god didn't appear yet i will wait so then what happened little by little the water became more aggressive you know and uh, even he couldn't stand on the top of the roof and almost you know it came to the the lower lip area the water level and he oh, it's very you know very very difficult you know hold the breath little bit and then the god appeared and he got, the the priest got so mad about the god and uh, i sacrifice my whole life and i used to pray for you and you didn't do anything for me this is how you going to treat for us so the god appeared in front of him with a little smile and asked why you what happened to you why you struggling so then he got so mad and told her huh, see i am in i am almost died now you appeared what the point appearing now because i going to lose my life so the god told you know i send the village people and you didn't recognize and i send the boat you didn't recognize even i send the rescue helicopters you didn't recognize so don't blame to me so dear dharma practitioners you have to remember when it come to spirituality when you have the faith regarding something nothing wrong having faith 
but there is the two different way having faith and recognition so if you develop the faith to recognize something and that recognition will show you the path but if you what whatever you believe if make you blind and if it is not allow you to recognize and you're going to have a hard time out of your own spiritual practice that not only you and you will give a hard time to other people also so see that the recognizing the person is something else when it come to our life and we like to see unseen angels gods and we we have the we have the faith and we believing so nothing wrong with that but we cannot sometimes recognize the angels who ever live with our parents with our brothers sisters or with our family members with our neighbors and sometimes with very you know unknown people suddenly appear to our life and help for us so sometimes we don't see that and we we hold it to ideas we hold it to believing and that believing that idea sometimes make you blind once you become blind with the the believing no longer you cannot you know that the, you you can't grow anymore so then remember always so whatever the spiritual practice that you go follow always remember develop your recognition use that all the the material that whatever use that all the teachings to to develop your recognition because that is the most powerful thing that you have so when you have the recognition the recognition is the key going to to develop your path so when how you can get into the recognition so when it come to the buddha's teaching especially through this meditation practice to get into this practice you have to have four qualities always you have to develop it so one is the kalyana mittata you have to have a very good friend circle around you spiritual friends it's nothing wrong having other friends of course you have to have friends for parties you know going out and dancing singing karaoke or anything it's okay but have some spiritual friend circle also and keep some kind of practice little bit close to your heart and always look for the truth so that 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 the spiritual practice used to go towards the truth that is what the 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 theravada the tradition is so different than others it called the orthodox the very meaning of orthodox holding to the truth when it come to the community of the sangha it doesn't matter the king or the president or the nation or the the prince or the families it doesn't sometimes they come with the different different views but from ancient time 2600 years to today the 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 community of the sangha this theravada tradition they always give up that all other connection that they hold it to the truth and sometimes in your life also that situations come the truth is something else maybe your best friend your boyfriend your girlfriend your husband wife your children your parents your neighbors your brother sister stand with something totally go against the truth so then what happened to you 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 see the truth and then you have something else from the other side to to select so if you stand with the dharma 
forget about that whatever the the connection that you have you always stand with the truth that is the quality of the the buddha's teaching that is what called theravada the oh, it's called the, that is what even any other religions also have this this group uh, the the path orthodox orthodox mean hold it to truth and sometimes we jump to other side and you you heard the word called naughty so then all the naughty people in the spiritual path give up the truth and jump to the other side you can have the you have to select you going to be the orthodox or the naughty naughty means empty nothing cultivated that already just give go with the last the, the last or the desire just empty and so you don't you don't have anything so then you always have the dependent nature from from whoever around you always bound to the bound to something because you don't have something you kind of like a beggar that is called naughty learn that if somebody say you are naughty so that's mean it's kind of like uh, emotionally or with your behavior with anything and regarding in that in that conversation in that environment you are empty so then you have to understand you have to take it very serious it's like a sign it's like a giving it's like a giving kind of like a wisdom to lose lo yourself then you have to find something for you what you can find you can find only you can get in only the truth because when people become empty they go into sometimes other situations look at the society i give a simple example in the material world when people become empty with poor no money empty pocket one person become a thief and one person become a beggar or the thief and go and stealing from others and another person determined i going to start something and no longer i am not going to be like this this difficulties and that person become a millionaire see one person go towards becoming a beggar or the the thief and another person go towards the the millionaire see the both open the path when that person was empty but it is the choice so you want to be naughty or you want to be orthodox so it is your choice for that that's why you have to have a very spiritual friends also all are the friends you need in any kind of people all are people but at the same time find some people keep their connection with you and have some spiritual friendship develop that not not kind of like a teacher and a student no it is not like that you have to have friends whoever practice the go with the spiritual how you can find that kind of people when you meet that people when you talk that with that that people if that people always try to make with the profitable things in their life rather than talking about others mistakes or rather than trying to put uh, into trouble somebody or make jokes regarding somebody always try to help you to get out of the greed hatred and the delusion so then you find that person and you stay with that keep that connection nourish that connection day by day day by day day down the second quality you have to have the sadhamma savana that's mean you have to have the 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 uh, the intention to listen to the buddha's teaching so before you go into the buddha's teaching you have to develop the the idea to listen so remember that uh, as i mentioned in the beginning the faith and the recognition what how the faith can transform to recognition when you develop the listening as a quality that is where the recognition going to happen the listening is the 
the key to recognition. Be a person to listen some and develop it as a profitable skill. Listen to your parents. Listen to your husband, wife, children, friends, and maybe they are wrong, but you develop the quality to listen. And when you develop that quality, when you master that quality, you recognize who they are. That recognition will help you to, to change them. Because if you don't recognize who they are, how are you going to help them? How are you going to change them? But once you recognize, oh, this person like this, this person have the greed or the hatred or the anger or the ignorance, then you can help and giving a book or taking somewhere and having a good conversation and little by little, little by little, you can transform that person to something. So you are the one who can do that, not somebody else. So then the quality that you have to develop, listening. When you have the idea to listen, that will take you to recognize. So in meditation, also the same, that recognition come when the, because listening is a skill and you have to learn, you have to be patient to listen. So that will help. It's, it is just not only one action, entire your, your body react in that moment. If you develop, if you mastering listening, this entire universal, all the stars going to to go in to be with you. It's nothing come against when you start to listen. So that's why develop it as a skill. Learn to listen to your body. Learn to listen to you, the bird. Learn to listen to the nature. Learn to listen to the trees. Learn to, learn to listen to the cloud. Learn to listen to the sun, moon, stars, universe. So that will show you something. Because why? Because you are part of it. So when always in our mind, blah, 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 always something, 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 that disconnect you. Then you, even somebody very close to you keep talking something, you cannot understand. If you cannot listen that whatever you talk, it's not going to make any sense. So it's like, Talking, remember, talking is not a big thing. Barking and talking is the both, you know, we have very similar. So the parrot also can talk. You no, know, so even, but as a quality, you have to learn to listen. So that is the important part. And then when you listen little by little, little by little, it's going to recognize is this important? What, it, what that person saying. So then that will help you to, to recognize what you want. So then, then you have a choice. But it, it slowly you have to develop as art. And then the third one, Yoniso Manasikara. Yoniso Manasikara means that the recognition that deeply yourself by experiencing. When it comes to the Buddha's teaching, especially in the Samatha Vipassana in meditation, it's called Pajanati. Pajanati means by yourself, you recognize through analyzing. So that then that more than the surface level of recognition, you need more awareness to get into that. And then nothing go wrong when you, when you come to that. As we know, we all know in permanent unsatisfactory nature, selfless, we all know that. When you go to buy milk, the very first thing mostly you do, though you check the price and then expire date. If you buy some ice cream, yogurt, uh, you know, these kind of things. When you were the very first thing, you, you see the expire date. Why? Because you know it's going to change. But that doesn't mean you... It, if that knowledge not going to take, it cannot take you to the, the understanding of this fundamental quality as a change. So the change we living, we, we are inherent with the change. So as example, the beauty is everywhere. All over in this universe, beauty. 
but sometimes it has ability to gather with something and then we call beautiful. So the, the, the strength or the hardness is everywhere. And, but sometimes it has power to, to come and stay with something, then it, we call this is hard. But hardness is everywhere. So like that, the impermanent is everywhere. So sometimes it, uh, it can appear through something that appearance, seeing that appearance doesn't mean you recognize that the hardness is everywhere. You, you recognize this is hard. If somebody say, you know, with the pen and the, this and bring something hard, you go and you will pick this piece of wood because you know it is hard. But that doesn't mean you really understood what is the universal hardness. So like that, when it comes to this everything, so whatever that around us, there are certain there are fundamental qualities hold by that. Seeing just things doesn't mean you have ability to see the fundamental qualities. So the meditation is a method. You come to a point through your experience, analyzing, deeply recognizing, and you recognize this fundamental quality. And once you come to that, you surrender to that. That is where you surrender to the Dharma. You accept it. You become with it. You become more humble in front of that. So that make you release. That make you free. That is where through the practice of the spirituality, you find the freedom. Why? Because it has a link to get into this. The, the this fundamental quality. So you only so manage you use your own very clear, sharp mind without bounding any sanskara of the place or mental formations or the your your previous experience. In the moment of the perception, you become very clear and experience. In that very moment, you recognize this everything arising, existing, arising, existing moment by moment. And then it makes you discipline. Naturally, you come to a point to accept and humble and surrender. And you don't have any more this aggressive animal nature, behavior inside you. You release from that. Then you become like the wind. Then you become like the water. Then you become like the rain. Then you become like the sun. There's you not there's no resistance in you. You always in the flow, in the flow, in the flow, and you experience everything without holding to anything. And there's no boundaries in you, but moment by moment, moment by moment, just the experience you have. So that is where this path will take you. So start to remember. So whatever you believe learn to recognize when you come to that point everywhere you will see the dharma everywhere you see the truth and go with it so don't be naughty so with that i bless upon everyone with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you May you also have the patience, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbhityo vajjantu sabbaro ko vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo sukhi digayuko bhava Ittavatachami sampadam kunya sampadam sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe satta numodantu 
සබ්බ සම්පත්ති සිද්ධියයි ධම්මී පුඤ්ඤ කම්මං ආසවක්කයා වහන් හුතු සබ්බ දුක්ඛා පමුන්චතු බ්ලෙස් යු